Uh, hold on. There we go. Problem solved. And there we go. And there we go. And there we go. And... Booyah! Right, sorry. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes, I was looking for my horse. Do I? No. But, well, maybe. Uh... Oh, balls to it. I'm using the wrong sword here. Uh, wrong bow, even. There we go. Black Lazapos on. Always useful. Um, it's annoying having to Google if Twitter is down rather than just checking Twitter. I, as far as I know, Twitter's or, uh, Twitter was up, but the API is dead, which is rather annoying for the Discord server. Now... Oh, hold on. Okay. Okay. Bear with me. I, I know I said we were done. But at the same time. I do also want to get some more crystalline charges. And if we can get an extra battery for our battery pack. Awesome. I know it was broken about an hour ago. Oh, right. Uh, I knew Twitter was broken about an hour ago because my partner was uh, complaining about it. How did that word get through the bot? Ah, <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Right. I'll take all of them. Oh, I only need 90. That works. Good deal. Give me all of them. Thank you. And that gives me not a hundred. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. That works. That poor one on the shelf annoys me. But whatever, we now have 300 zonite. Yeah, all of these crystallized charges. Guess what that means? Um, what's the quickest way? Actually, Great Sky Islands probably is the quickest to get to, isn't it? Oh yeah, I need to get some more fans as well, don't I? I also have 18 portable cooking pots. Good and then I should probably start selling those rather than anything. I mean, they're a single use. The only it, I don't even know if I'm allowed, I can use them to wait out and bypass time. I could only probably do use them to cook something in like a quick rush, but maybe I'll keep hold of some of them. But at the same time, it is starting to get a bit daft. Yes, I know it's the crystal refinery. Give me all the things! They're good for building with because they swivel. I never thought of that. <laughs> so basically, I could just fuse a turret to a cooking pot in order to make a swiveling turret. Ta-da! Cool. Three new energy wells. Even more power for the Enterprise. There we go. So we've got four batteries to call our own. All right. I suppose I'll go and get myself some more fans because I actually use the fans quite a lot. 
As long as I've got enough energy charges, they're starting to run a bit thin, to be honest. I'm going in the completely wrong direction, aren't I? Yep. I just realised if I was ever to play Star Trek roleplay, I would have to be Scotty. How wrong with that? I mean, Scotty's my favourite character for obvious reasons. Um, an engineer, Dawson. He likes his whiskey. Dawson. He likes his whiskey, and he's an engineer. Did you know that in terms of the lore of Star Trek, Scotty not only helped design the uh, the recon uh, the Constitution class refit, the one from the movies, but he also, because of you know time travelly shenanigans and being in stasis for a, a very long time, also was the one of the chief designers on the Enterprise E, which are from which is from the Next Generation movies. pretty awesome. My two favourite versions of the Enterprise. And they were both designed by Scotty, as far as the lore goes. Obviously they were designed by not Scotty in the line of book. <laughs> How many fans is that now? Twelve. Do we think twelve's enough? I'm going to go for... I'll try and go for one more. Let's face it, if it came to Lord of the Rings RP, I'd either be Gimli or I'd be Liam Gandalf. Or Bilbo. I'm posh enough to be Bilbo, aren't I? Um. Right. I've done a thing. Now what was I doing? Don't know. I'm going back to my horse. Gandalf, probably. Yeah, probably. Who is a bit more of random lore trivia for you. Gandalf is actually an angelic being, uh, an angelic being, in the world of Lord of the Rings. There's a new, uh, a Nubitar, who is the god of Tolkien's world. Then there is sort of the Archangels, the Vyar, and then under the Vyar, there is uh, the, I forget the name of them. Basically, Gandalf is like an angel underneath the Archangels. And the only one who went to Middle-earth out of uh, two or five wizards to actually hold true to his mission, hence why he was returned as Gandalf the White after the fight with the Balrog. I've, I've ended up on a massive lore kick with Lord of the Rings in the past. So, yes, I, I've got a lot of lore knowledge. I might struggle with the names, though. <laughs> That's a silver the Coblin. I don't know whether I'm going to regret doing this or not. Um... Uh-oh. 
Okay, there we go. I've got a silver bacoblin horn. I will quite happily accept that. And I've just missed out on a bunch of lizards, haven't I? Strengthen this old bow. Oh, I can't carry it. Well, first I'm going to get a picture. Then I'll... No. Then I'm going to see if I can actually do anything with it. Um... You know what? I'm going to drop the Fennec Bone. I mean, it's got the extra strength, durability, but pretty sure there's a glitch involved on it that just makes it really annoying to handle. Dragon Bone Shield? Nice. Marrows as well. Hey, Epona. Right, so I've got Silver Bacoblins and Blue Lynels. I may have got Link a bit OP as it is. But whatever, I'm sure I will find all the characters... Actually, mentioning the compendium. What are we up to with the compendium? 40 of 92 creatures. 56 of 110 monsters. 71 of 126 material. 83 of 175 of equipment. And... All six treasures. Marvellous. Limey. There is... I I've not got the gloom sword. Ah, uh, wait a minute. And yet Tom Bonderbill... Uh, Tom Bonderbill is still more powerful. He is very powerful. He was able to put on the one ring and it had absolutely no effect on him. But at the same time, he just didn't care to do anything to help. So, yeah. Shame they never managed to put, put Tom Bombadil in the um, movies. But uh, I can kind of also see why they left him out. You're still a way off the Gleco fight. Apparently there's a bow. A very powerful bow on the top of Hyrule Castle, which I should probably apparently get in order to defeat the King Gleco. No, I'm not going straight to Hyrule Castle this minute to get it. The temptation is there, yes, but I also get the sneaking feeling that that's going to cause some sort of tomfoolery with the story. I'm not going to worry about it, and instead I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Bloody self-insert. I, well... I've seen worse self-inserts. Kathleen Kennedy and anything from Disney Lucasfilm immediately comes to mind. Oh, that's neither here nor there. Um... I should probably start actually eating some of the things I've cooked, shouldn't I? Um... Balls to it. That's how I'm going to have to do them, then. Yeah, so we'll go back to Kakaraku. I will sort out the things from inside. Oh, that's carrying silver. Uh... Yeah, oh, we're doing it. Am I insane? Yeah. Oh, I care. No.
Oh. <coughs> well, that that's a death. <clears throat> Where does it put me? Did you run out of furries? Yeah, I need to go back to a furry fountain at some point and restock. Once I'm back in Kakaraku, I'll sort that out. That nearly killed me for a second time. Um... No, you don't. 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 I think I got him. Doing so well in terms of the death counts as well. deaths on one Karoxid. Are we talking about Breath of the Wild here? <laughs> oh no, there was the it was the Glico one, wasn't it? Yeah, those are the two most deadly Karoxids I've encountered. Oh, I forgot about the frame drop. Oh. I, I forgot about that, yes. There was the Frozen River on the Great Plateau in Breath of the Wild, and then there was the Glico Seed in this game. Right, now we are going to have to climb all the way up and around in order to get this seed because Angry Dr. McAngry Pants will not let us anywhere near the ring room. Maybe we throw a cuckoo at him. No, that won't work. I did indeed find you. Show me. Right. And then there's one up here. Oh. Oh. And the one up here is, of course, a backpack, Karok. You will, you will link though. Uh, wait, you will link though. Isn't Queen Zelda just going to get more angry when you're told no? Yes. Well, no, it's Zelda, so she probably won't actually get angry. She doesn't seem to get angry at anyone apart from Link and her father. Then again, it would be nice. Be nice to see that, but no. Well, maybe. I mean, she keeps popping up around the place, so. Maybe we run into her at some point, or maybe she gives us a special letter. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me if it was just a special letter.
Okay, we'll do it slowly. Just because I'm not entirely sure I've got enough stamina. That's no... Am I suddenly about to get hit with a cold damage? I sure I might do. You know, I'm in the end scene of oh, this is another one. In the end scene of his of Breath of the Wild, there was an entire field of silent princesses. I have yet to see an entire field of silent princesses. Hello, Mr. Korok. You and your friend got separated. Oh dear, how sad. Where are they? They're all the way over there. Fun. Yeah. Right. What do we have in terms of gear? Also build. Cool. I have enough zoning. Now, Mr. Korok. Or Mrs. Korok, whatever you may or whatever you prefer. I will glue you to the front of my hover bike. Let us take you to your friend. Oh, this control so badly. Oh! 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 Ow! Oh! Uh-oh. Right by the enemy encampment, isn't it? He's fine! He's fine! Run away! Interesting. Because I've just created an artificial control stick, it's like a, a greyed out wireframe version. Also, I really need to find a way to find out why this hover bike controls so poorly. Oh, come ow! On! That must be why.
auto build. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Ah, balls to it. Right. Either way, we've done two more Korok seeds. So I can mark that one on the map as well. Hey, what are you? Oh, don't worry about that. Um... Oh, right, I've missed that, and there's also one over here. Considering they're at altitude... Oh, right, I've destroyed my bike, haven't I? Uh, we'll do it on foot, then. For an extra apple. How about a third apple? There we go. Three apples for three frogs. Bye bye, marvelous. So that's another currency done. Next one is over there, apparently. <laughs> through these rocks. Oh, wait a minute. I know what I can do. As long as the game's not going to be a pain in the neck about it, which it probably will be. Oh, it isn't. That's a shock. We can slowly climb up the mountain. Sort out the Korok seed at the top. Yep. 
As, as he occasionally jumps. One Karok seeds. And there's another one ticked off the map. Marvelous. Apparently, there's a Lionel bow down there as well. Go and get it. I may have suddenly made a very poor choice. <laughs> Photo view yet? No! Oh, you're a black one. Okay. That was not as difficult as I thought it might have been. Cool. There we go. Heaven forbid I ever encounter a silver boss per coblin. I'm going to encounter a silver boss per coblin, aren't I? Oh well. I'll cross that bridge when I come to. Hopefully, I've got a few more stronger, a few stronger weapons to hand for that one. I mean, I've killed silver and gold lionels in the past, though in Furnace it seems it does feel sort of like this game's ramped the difficulty over Breath of the Wild just a smidge. <laughs> Savage Lionel bow. Uh, yeah, I can get rid of something in favour of that. How about this Lizal bow? Yes. Have I got a Savage Lionel bow yet? Or at least, well, I have, but have I got a photo of it? No, oh, I have not. Well, well, we've got one. Done. Oh. There's a Hinox over there. This is still at altitude. There's no point in getting a Pona, is there? I can get a Pona for those, but for these, it's pretty much I'm just on my own. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 